How's it going everyone? How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. We haven't done a tutorial in a while, so you know what? Why not do one today? Yesterday I released a video with I Ate My Cat about Omegle and VRChat, and that video, I'm not sure how to feel about it because I decided to blur the faces, and people started telling me that there was no reason to blur the faces because Omegle is a public domain, but I don't know, I felt it was respectful, but apparently you don't need to do that. I don't know. But a lot of people were actually asking me more about the whole VR chat in Omegle aspect, like how I did it and how you could do it yourself. So before I even begin talking about this, I want to make sure everybody knows you will need a VR ready PC for this, or you will at least need to be able to run VR chat on your PC in VR mode. And all that will become quite obvious and quite clear as to why you need to do that later on. However, you could actually do some quite interesting things with this apart from VR. So if you're here and you don't have a VR ready PC, but you have some form of a PC, stay tuned because as will become quite clear later on, you can actually use this for quite a few things. So this tutorial will tell you exactly how you can run VR chat or pretty much any other app as a camera in your Zoom calls, your Skype calls, your I don't know, Omegle calls, and I mean, I don't condone doing this while you're supposed to be having school on Zoom. Don't do it, you know, just just don't. But you know, if you're having a call with a friend on Discord or anywhere and you want to do a funny meme, here you go. This should be the way to go. So the first thing you will require on your computer is OBS. And once you have OBS running, open broadcaster software, the thing pretty much most people use to stream, you will require virtual camera. Now, virtual camera can be obtained here off GitHub. That link will be down in the description below. You just download it and you install it like you would any other application. To avoid any conflicts, make sure OBS is actually turned off while installing virtual camera. Once you have virtual camera installed, a little icon will show up in OBS saying start virtual camera. Now, this thing is going to have so many issues if you have an ultra wide monitor. Honestly, so many issues. It took us quite a while yesterday to figure all of this out, but that's why I'm here for you guys. So before you begin the virtual camera stream, make sure to go into your output settings and change your resolution to a 16 by nine resolution. For me, that was 3840 by 2160 because that's 4K and I like 4K. So now we need to set up our scene. If you guys are using VRChat for this, it's pretty simple. Hop into VRChat, click on camera, select the stream camera, which will later on give you a camera that you can place anywhere around the world, and it will stream from that camera to your monitor. That is essentially what we're going to be using as our virtual camera, that stream. Then what you do is you add a source to your OBS profile. Now, if you're doing VRChat, that source will be either a window capture of VRChat or a full screen capture, because I was having a lot of issues with window capture. So if you guys are having a lot of issues with window capture, you might want to do full screen capture as well. The problem with that is, is it streams your entire screen. So if something pops up on your screen midway, the people on Omegle will be able to see it, so, you know. Now, if you guys are not using VR chat, you can select anything else here, like any other 2D game that you want to be virtualized as a camera. Once you know that what you're seeing in the preview screen of OBS is what you want the people to see on the camera, you need to be able to see them within the game. So for this, we're gonna use a little software called OVR Toolkit. Now, there is a way to do this for free, for example, by using the software I'm now showcasing in the background. However, I have had issues with this and never actually managed to get it 100% working. But if you guys wanna check it out, it will also be down in the description below so that you guys can do this entirely free. Basically, what you do is you open the software, select the window you want to showcase within the virtual world, and it should be there. However, as I said, I never actually got this fully working. So I'm gonna show you how to use OVR Toolkit. So first you launch OVR Toolkit. Once it's on in the background, you double tap both your triggers to launch it within the game. Now looking at your wrist, you'll find a little cog icon. Clicking on that cog icon, you can now start spawning windows from your computer straight into your game and place them around in the virtual space. So basically what you'd do here is you'd select a window like Omegle, for example, place it somewhere in the world where you want the people to be, and you'll be able to see them within your game. There you go, it's that simple. So now you're pretty much set. You can click start virtual camera. You open up any software that you're going to be using, Zoom, Discord, Chrome, whatever, and make sure that you select OBS virtual camera as the camera source, because this is the virtual camera that we're going to be using. Now, once you have that selected and the virtual camera is running in OBS, you should see that whatever you're streaming in OBS should be coming up as a camera feed. Pretty cool, right? We basically created a full-blown virtual camera off of an OBS feed. 
And that's pretty much it for this. It's very, very simple. Very, very short, very, very simple. However, issues arise if you want to do multiplayer. If you want two people to be in VR chat, you're going to have problems. And unfortunately, I found this out the hard way because you have to not only stream your voice, but you also have to stream the person's voice. So I'm also going to tell you exactly how to work this out. What you want to do is you want to install Voice Meter. Now, Voice Meter will create a virtual audio device and a virtual microphone that will allow you to pass three, yes, three devices into one microphone, basically allowing you to pass your real microphone and your computer's audio all into one microphone source. This meaning that your voice and the person who you're playing with will be all going through to Omegle, Zoom, or whatever you're going to be using. Now, there was an issue with this where when you selected your computer's audio to go through voice meter, issues would arise. So what you need then is you need virtual cable. What virtual cable does is it creates a virtual microphone from your computer's audio. So then you hop into voice meter, you select input one as your microphone and you select input two as the virtual cable. Now you can select your computer's default output to be the virtual cable. Some apps like Discord also require you to do this manually since they won't change with Windows' default. And in voice meter, you select only B output on your microphone so that you don't hear yourself. And on the virtual cable, you select both A and B, meaning that both you and the people on the other side, Zoom, Omegle, etc., will be able to hear whatever is happening on your computer, meaning your friend, VR chat sounds, whatever like that. Now with all that selected, you just select your output to be your headphones or anything like that so that you can still hear your friend. And I know that that all sounds a little bit confusing, but hopefully I explained it in a way that is at least sort of understandable. Basically what you're doing is you're passing through your computer audio through virtual cable, then putting in virtual cable as an input in voice meter, selecting only B on your audio so that you don't hear yourself, and then selecting the output of voice meter to be whatever headphones so that you can still hear your friend. And that's it, you're pretty much set. What you do now is you hop back into Omegle, etc., and you select the microphone source as voice meter. Now, whenever your friend speaks and you speak, you should both be heard from the same microphone source on any of your favorite social media um, video calling apps. And that's it. That's pretty much how simple this all is. Now, it may sound complicated and confusing and it may have taken us four hours to do yesterday with a bunch of issues. However, once you do get it running, it's pretty much just a single startup thing where you just start up voice meter next time you want to do it. And there you go. That's the tutorial on how to get virtual camera and virtual camera multiplayer working on your computer and have it show up in any app you like. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you set up a virtual camera to use in any of your favorite applications or stream your virtual world to any app that doesn't officially support it. Discord kind of supports streaming, your screen, etc. But other apps like Skype, Zoom, actually I haven't used Skype in so long, it might not support sharing your screen, might not officially support it, or you might not have access to it as a second person in the call. You know, you're not the master, whatever. So I hope this helped you out. If you guys have any issues, join the Discord, let us know. We have a lot of lovely people on there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we've got sick merch down below that doesn't put a huge ad on your body. We've also got sick mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys aren't yet part of the community but would like to join, we have a Discord down below. And we also have a Reddit down below where I want to see you guys posting your spice memes. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.